Sarah. I didn't send her an email all week. But I haven't received one either. I assume she was probably as busy as I was. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. The Idaho Mountains. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? <laughs> you like that? Yep. <laughs> you know I got to do that. <laughs> Hey, what? Woo! Oh, yeah, here, probably do I this. like the new setup, it's cool. Yeah? Yeah. Hi, Boise. Oh, yeah, it'd probably help if I did uh, this and this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Good evening. I'll sit up now. Oh, okay. Nice to see everyone. Or be seen. Such as maybe the case. Oh yeah, I gotta remember. <laughs> Say hello. Oh yeah. I, 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 oh, oh, there I am. Ah, <laughs> I gotta remember where the camera is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Boise. Ah. See, that's what happens when you change things. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Things are different. <laughs> then you might have to like find a new perspective. Right. Turn your head for a different point of view. <laughs> See things a little oddly. Is the case if that oddly the case? Oddly. Ah, uh, yeah. Did you take note of what date this was? Today? No. <laughs> oh me. That we took the footage. Oh um. Here you are again. I you know I don't know I can't remember. It was somewhere up along the uh, Salmon River or one of those rivers. Um, Snake maybe. I don't remember exactly which one. It was on the road to Stanley and right up around that way, right? Through Loman, Stanley. Yeah, that looks like Stanley up there. Is the road to Loman the same as the road to Stanley? Yeah, well, you go through Loman for, for first. <laughs> and then okay. you loop way back. Well, it's back. up that direction, so I don't know how high it is. It's in the I mountains. I was looking at how deep the snow was, so I was wondering. I know it was, it was yeah. even fairly <laughs> warm where we were at that point. Right. <laughs> Tonight we noticed it's chilly again. It's been chilly this week at right. night. It's been 20 up where we are. Yep, snowing. It was snowing on the way in a little bit. So I assumed 35 or 40 down here. Maybe 30, I don't know. Right. Yeah, it was snowing on the way in. It was cool. Oop, hey. Oh, oh. <laughs> Show them this. Here's our baby. Yeah. <laughs> kappa. <laughs> that was his I throw everything in the river phase. It lasted until the day that he threw something in there and I said, you know what? If I can't get it before it's gone all the way around the bend and down, right. <laughs> it's lost forever. It and he understood lost after that. So it when will. I said it's going to be lost, he was like, oh, so he's been more careful with stuff now. <laughs> he still, we still ended up losing Goofy. Oh, really? Uh, well, I've never yeah. found it. I don't know. Have you found it? I haven't, but it, you know, once the snow starts to melt, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it's in the car, maybe it was in the ash. I hope it wasn't in the ash that we used on the driveway because then Goofy's probably ground into dust by now, but... Right. Oh well. If you ever need something to keep from skidding on snow, use fireplace ash. Yeah, it works awesome, man. It's really, really great. It makes your snow really, um, have traction, to be traction. <laughs> La -dee -da -dee -da. Hey there! Hanging out in the studio. Boise, how's it going, man? Cameras. Women, men, people. <laughs> ah. We were talking about interesting things before <laughs> we went on the air, but say la vie. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, now we're just uh, going with what's going on, man. Yeah, whatever. Oh, hey. <laughs> I love that footage. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello, how you doing? Hello, good. Hey, are you on the air right now? Yes, yep. we are. Yeah, your audio levels are way too hot and we can't understand you. Oh, they're actually too hot tonight? Yeah, they're way too <laughs> hot. It's all it's distorting really bad. We can't understand you at all. Okay, uh, is that better? <laughs> try, try again. How's that? A lot better? Uh, <laughs> how about now? Can Still you, a little hot. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Still really? That's, that's crazy. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, Jesse was going to come tonight and he didn't show up. Right. That's better. Yeah, cool. Okay. Go. Have a good show. Oh, thanks. Yeah, th is this Jesse? Good, good night. No. Oh, it is it? Oh, okay. Well, thanks, man. Bye. <laughs> and I was going to tell him if he wanted to bring his wife and her little one that they would be welcome too. Right. They were going to come. Might as well make it a family adventure. Well, sorry, we're still having trouble with our audio. Yeah, tonight it's too hot. <laughs> last time it was too cold. Too low, yeah, too too quiet. This time it's too, too hot. I thought it was garbled last week. Garbled, yeah. That's the same thing they're, th they're saying, but then the guy that you talked to at work said it wasn't that bad when we weren't on the phone. That's where I wonder sometimes, you know, we, uh, you know, sometimes we, they're messing with us. Sometimes their TV is different than every other person's TV. Right, is it, I mean, <laughs> who knows? how that? much can the signal quality vary from place to place? Maybe... Maybe it has to do with the cables, or I mean, oh, I, don't I don't know. I just think that's the weirdest thing, don't you? I think so. I think it's some of that, to, you know. <laughs> you know. Too bad that we don't have alien one of us to alien go out interference, man. Yeah, that's what I think it is. Totally alien. You can only understand what you're meant to understand, <laughs> which might be none of it. Right. Right. <laughs> then you'll be like, "Well, that's an hour of my life I'm never getting back." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, and you we'll know, be I like, mean, sorry, well, you want your money back? We'll give you double. Uh, hey man, that's Triple free your money back. <laughs> Quadruple even. Yeah, there you go. What? Bugs. Well, bugs. Ah, bugs. You know. That's an alien right there, man. It is. And really, why do you have to understand us? That's just cool. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be passionate about what? Uh, whatever, I guess, that day. That's before it was starting to dreadlock. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was last spring, I think. I thought, it, yeah, I had, I don't know the date on there. I thought it was 06, but. Or no, it was spring before last, because he start, it started dreadlocking when he was two. Right, so yeah, it was 06 then, right? Huh? Roughly. I think it was 06. Yeah, so that was, yeah, that's a year and a half ago. Yeah. Well, I guess summer because the creek's kind of low. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> I guess if people are listening, maybe we should talk about something interesting. Um, I always forget about stuff we're talking about, you know? Or it's not, not in the moment. Well, because now we're on TV and we have to think of things to say. Right. So. <laughs> and I try to write things down, but then whenever I have my notebook around and a pen that hasn't been confiscated by a, confiscated by a what? certain small one. Who would do such a thing? What's that? Who would do such a thing? I don't know. Oh, so whenever I have that stuff around, <laughs> then I don't have anything to write down. Right. I don't, I always forget what notebook I wrote my stuff in. I knew this was going to happen tonight. We could talk about psychic ability. I'm sorry, I can't hear you now in here. So oh, you can't? Not really very well, no. Oh, far out, man. Here, wait, wait, wait fix that. <laughs> so, why is that? Uh, is this better? How's yes. that? Yes. Is that better? Yes. <laughs> Why? Can you hear the music? No, the music's down pretty low. Okay. Yeah, it's because I was... La, 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 la. Because I had to adjust some volumes, man, again. No singing. What? My well, son I no singing. it when I sing or dance. Yeah, I get the same thing, too. <laughs> <laughs> no. Apparently, we're not allowed to try out for American Idol. Now he dances. Yeah, or so you think he can dance. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's not going to be our forte. Well, it's a good thing because we're too old anyway, so. Right. Yeah, we're old. 
We could go on America's Got Talent. That's the one that's got that guy from um, Celebrity <laughs> Apprentice on it. Oh, yeah? Yep. Engine? America's yeah. Got Talent, huh? Yeah, I think it was America's Got Talent. Flying car? There's your flying car with the engine. That's right. Hey, man. We're like what? melded together. Ooh, cool. <laughs> well, that's been true since day one, right? Right. <laughs> I can't, I don't know how to do this blue screen thing yet. <laughs> that one there. Oh, I met a vibrating bunny. Ah! Two weeks ago. <laughs> oh, that wait. was awesome. Hey, that one got, no, that one got something. Got, <laughs> oh. oh, try again. <laughs> that no. got someone to call. <laughs> hey, I'm getting my boobies played with on TV, so. Wait. Am I allowed to say boobies? Boobies? I don't know. Oh, now you can't see them. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hello? Hey. Yeah. Oh, hey. They got a, so they, they're not staying on the see, line. Yeah, I don't have any control over the phone anymore, so. I'm not responsible. It's not my fault if you get hung up on. <laughs> hey, man, I, it's just not. They're not there when I answer it. No, I know. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. They're so not they're getting hung there. up on him on purpose somehow. Either you're hanging up on us or right, man. Or <laughs> there's something. God's hanging up on you or something. I don't know. Okay, there. <laughs> Try this again. Okay. Hey, are you there? Hello. Hello. Yep. Hello. You're there. You're live. Hola. Ah. Hey. Say hi. How are you? Good. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing good. You're doing good. Yeah. All right. What's up to? Ah, uh, I'm just sitting in my living room. Cool. <laughs> I Go happen on. to switch the channel. And you are on. Cool. So, how you guys get on the television? Well, we came down to TVC TV, channel 11, oh. and we filled out the appropriate paperwork, and we got information from Terry and Anka about how to put a show on the air and they trained us in what we needed to do and we put a show on. Right. Of course, of course. I like yeah, that. You could do it too. Really? Yeah, everyone should do it. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Everyone should That's do it. Ah. Uh, well, I got to go. Oh, okay. okay. Hey, thanks for calling. See you later. No problem. Yeah, talk to you later. Bye. Make a show, okay? Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> cool. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> so, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. You know, it's funny because I really had a feeling on the way in tonight. I was thinking, wow. Holy crap. <laughs> On the way hey, are you there still? I am. Didn't blow up your TV, did it? Uh, no, and I can still hear you. <laughs> you can? Yeah, what a surprise. <laughs> what? I, was just, I said, what a surprise. I was reading your uh, thing about Be Passionate. This is the first time I've seen you guys. Oh, cool. I think this is pretty cool. Oh. But uh, I was thinking about the time I got arrested. Oh, yeah? And it, yeah, it was the only time I've ever been arrested, but I thought it was crap. Yeah. And uh, I was kind of wondering who is out there to regulate the police and make sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing because I got the crap beat out of me. No for really? absolute, Yeah, for no reason. And <laughs> then when we went to court and I read what supposedly happened, it was a lie. Oh, no kidding. Well, oh, yeah. I think that we're the ones that have to make the government accountable. The police and everyone else. Don't you think? And I mean, I think, I mean, there are cell phones everywhere with with video capability and we have instant internet connections everywhere and we need to record what we see and we need to disseminate it as fast as we can. I think, well at the time that this happened to me, I didn't have any way to record no, this. No, I understand right. that and I'm, I'm, I have to say that I'm really, I mean that's just a devastating thing to hear. I'm yeah, sure it's my, a devastating thing to go through. My oldest sister went through a similar situation yeah. and I guess they like pull, pulled her through her truck window. For uh, and like bunch of, yeah and just so it gets uh, really hard not to be bitter but you have to try but at the same time we also have to I think we have to be responsible for that and we have to take accountability for 
the actions of our public servants into into our hands. I, I agree. I completely agree. And that problem is these people are supposed to protect and serve. Right. Yet exactly. They seem to be demoralizing and hurting people and getting power from that. And, exactly. you know, another yeah. instance, I worked with someone with disabilities. And wow. there was snow everywhere. We couldn't get out. So we parked in a certain spot, the only place we could. Sure. We got sure. blocked in by police. And they freaked out and told us that we had to move. And all he was trying to do was go to work. We were there for two minutes. This. And they made some big deal out of it. And again, you know, they're supposed to protect and serve. Yet they're not. They're on some power trip. And if we all just work together, we could accomplish great things. Right. And people, you know, could work for the greater good instead of just everyone out for themselves. Right. And the other thing that we need to record is the ones that are trying to do well so that we can make, the, make them an example to the ones who are going into it for the wrong reasons. You know? I agree. Because there are those, we have to give credit where credit's due. Because if we don't, you know, if we just say, well, it's the whole police force, well, it's not. That's not fair to the guys that are trying to do it right and the women that are trying to do it right. But at the same time, those guys and women that aren't, when they do wrong, they need to be held accountable by everyone, by their peers, by us as the public. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you understand, yes. obviously, right? Yeah, I completely agree. And there are still some good guys out there, but the thing is, is you know, sometimes <laughs> Too you many see it aren't. going in the sewer, and there's not really much you can do because they find ways to get rid of the good people, too. Yeah. But we have to make it so that can't happen. Yeah, hold it's everyone. Our responsibility. Yeah, everyone's got to be held accountable for their actions, and you know. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah, and I think that you know part of that's part of the thing with all this cameras everywhere, and you know pretty soon it's yeah. you know it's not going to matter. Because when did a big brother? You know, big brothers can be a bad thing or they can be a good thing. <laughs> Maybe our big brother is going to end up protecting us, right? <laughs> well, hopefully. Right. This kind of depends on if you pass them off. They, well, yeah, well, they haven't managed to keep cameras out of our hands yet. That's where we, that's where we have to be no, so careful when we say, well, it's okay to take this liberty because it hurts this group of people. So it's okay if we just push that aside and we say, well, you know, we'll allow that, that, that their door can be kicked down because they're doing that. Well, yeah, but when does that become something that you should be able to do? But they disagree with you. So now you're not allowed to do it anymore, so now they can kick down your door and it's everybody's door. What do we do then? So we have to stop them now before they can take the cameras away and take the, you know. See, you need to get a show. <laughs> you can come down here. You, you. I'm sorry, I'm pointing at the wrong camera. But you can come down here and make your own show. Make a documentary about what okay. you see happening. And, and you know what I'm saying? Yes, I, I completely understand what you're saying. Or you but can I'm call shows you, like ours. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> you know, seriously. Never seen anything like it before, and I think it's really awesome. Cool. Thank <laughs> well, you. Well, great, thanks. Yeah, this, we, we've been doing this for a little while. We're on every Sunday night, uh, Mountain Standard Time, of course, uh, from 11 to midnight here in Boise. So. Yeah. Well, I'll start watching you and let people know uh, that you're there also, because I think that a lot of people aren't aware of that also. Thank cool. you. Cool, great. Yeah, thank you. And, um, you know, I don't even know what to say. I don't even, that's just such a... Yeah, was this pretty recent that this happened? or? Yes, it was January 19th. Oh, wow. This yeah. February? January. 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 Wow. And for the record, I was doing absolutely nothing wrong. It just devastates you and it breaks your heart and just kind of blindsides you out of nowhere if... if <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, we're making our show right now. We're talking <laughs> to a nice lady on the telephone. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yes, well, it was to nice to talk to you guys. Yeah, you too. Thanks for and, uh, calling. Yeah, I hope the rest of your night Hard goes well. Up. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Sorry. I'm wondering what camera. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. No, I just got a little sidetracked and oh. kind of lost my train of thought because we were talking about DVDs, making a DVD or show. So. Right. Hello. <laughs> Hi. 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 How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Good. I was wondering if you could do me a favor. Possibly. Um, it's just a kind of request thing to say for me. Okay. To, to say um, for you? My boyfriend's birthday, his 18th birthday is coming up. Okay. And I want to know if you could say happy birthday to him. Uh-huh. His name is Tyler Booth. What's his name? Tyler Booth. Tyler Booth? Tyler Booth. Booth. Like a phone booth? Booth. Oh, phone. Tyler Booth. <laughs> Tyler Booth. Okay. Well, happy birthday, Tyler Booth. It's coming yeah. up this week, or it's like another it's Sunday? It's on April 9th. April 9th. Okay, cool. Well, I'll have to write that down. So happy birthday, it. Tyler Booth. <laughs> Thank no, you. No, we have a couple, sh we have another show before then, so we'll try to say it oh, right, next right, right. week. 
Right. Oh, yeah. That'll oh, be cool. Ah. Uh -oh, so you'll have to tune in next week. Into my thing here. What? Somebody's oh. been helping me with my pen, so. I'll take it all right <laughs> down here. Yeah, that guy. Ah. This is just a weird little planner thing. Okay, happy birthday to Tyler Booth on the sixth. Ninth. No, right? his birthday is the ninth, but we're on the air the sixth. Oh right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. All righty. Thank you. Should very we say much. who from? What? Should we say who from or will he know? Uh, he'll know. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right. You're looking. Awesome. You're looking. You. Have a good, yeah. You, you have a good night. You too. <laughs> yep. So thanks for calling. Right. <laughs> Sweetie, I need to write this down. Okay. It's like you're looking off into space. <laughs> I know. I'm always like. It, when we first started, remember when we first started, the speakers were in the ceiling, and I was always looking up at the ceiling. Right. Yep. Like, oh, like talking to the voice from heaven. <laughs> yep. That was kind of funny. Yeah. People were always like, you're always looking up at the ceiling. Kind of looks funny. And I'm like, well, Prince, that's where your voice is coming from. What do you want me to do? <laughs> oh. Oh. Look at Buddy. Some mean. <laughs> yeah, here's our public service announce announcement. When you're driving in, in <laughs> rural areas, oh. don't drive beyond the speed limits that, that's posted. Yeah, especially when there's like school bus stop signs. Kids, that sign small and little and, like, dogs. Kids standing in the road. And yeah, that's Prince. Not our kids. No. But like bigger kids that you could actually see from a distance. <laughs> Slow down. Yeah. Especially when the speed limit is 25 to start with. You don't have to be going 50, okay? That cute little dog is no longer with us because someone ran him over. Half actually twice, didn't smashed. he? And it was right in front of him, too, by the way. And three other young boys that didn't need to be exposed to that kind of violence. Yeah. <laughs> you know who you are, too. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> White Car standing there looking at me like you were all impatient to get going. I know, I'm sorry, it wasn't your fault. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetheart, please let me write this. Oh yeah, I should pay attention to the phone, huh? I guess so. <laughs> please let me write this. <laughs> what? No, no, sweetie. No. Wait. <laughs> I won't give it to you at all if you don't settle down a little bit. Don't stab me in the leg, bud. Yeah. Okay. Don't stab okay. me in the leg. Ow! Dude, dude. Oh, hey. Don't do it again. Oh, oh, nope. <laughs> what? I thought I saw a flashing red light. <gasps> what would that be? Oh, telephone. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> That's about how I react. I never noticed it. Right. We had to turn it off because of all the stinking telemarketer calls. Oh, our phone? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Man. Let's talk about the phone in here. I know. I'm just saying now whenever I like notice that it's ringing, I'm always <laughs> like, oh, well, look at that. Phone's ringing. And it's almost invariably 1866, whatever that number is. Look at that baby fat on him, man. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been right before a growth spurt. Yeah. Look, wait. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> they get so big. We had some much earlier footage of him <laughs> that we probably won't show. Yeah, yeah, we won't show that stuff. In the near future. <laughs> yeah, boogers. <laughs> He's testing the uh, armor. Protection. Capability of my book, yeah. <laughs> Good thing it works. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Right? Da -de -da -de -da. Well, so that was an interesting call. I mean, honestly, you know, I don't. You can't, you you know, you can't make a blanket blanket statement that all cops are on a power trip. But the thing is, is that when a stereotype becomes too easy to see, right, in the people that it's about then you have to think that maybe there's something to it. Yep. And the power trip and cop is becoming quite a stereotype these days. Well, it would be nice to hear from some police officers and, you know, what they think about the, the subject, you know. Do they feel that uh, well, yeah. they're being mis misrepresented or, you know? Do they feel like, you know, people who... What's the line? What's that line that says... You know, and is it... I imagine Rio it's harder nowadays. 
Huh? Imagine it's harder nowadays because you got a lot more people on their guard. And, oh, and, it, people uh, are so suspicious and everybody's out to get everybody. And, and it doesn't help, you know, when you do have incidents that get out of control and, you know. And you don't know where anybody's coming from. You don't know, you don't know what's going on with anybody. You're trying to look for it everywhere. Right. I think you know. he just tore that out of my book, so. Well, we can play back the video. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, I mean, well, I mean, that's that's just it. How do you, where do you, how do you, when you're in a job where everyday people are shooting at you, which is kind of how it is now, well, I mean, I don't know if it's really that way even. <laughs> that pen ain't working right now. Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't know. Well, it's not getting him the attention he wants, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that what? means it ain't working right. <laughs> hey, how you doing? I don't know, that's what I said to a military guy that I was talking to recently too, because he was saying, and I'm not exaggerating this, this isn't the kind of thing that I would say just to make light or make fun or, or be, um, but, any, but what he said was that he was in Bosnia or Serbia or one of those actions and they had women running out into the street throwing their babies under their tanks with explosives strapped all over them. And I'm going, what are you doing in that situation? And this is recently. He said this to, to me right. this, no, two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, said this to us in, in the, and this was something he saw in Bosnia or Serbia, I don't know exactly where, this wasn't even in Iraq. Mm. And I'm like, you know, and I agree with him, what do you do in that situation? Mommy. You, right. you survive. Right. You do what you have to do to save your life, but the question is, nope. you know, what are you doing in a place where people are so desperate to get you out that they'll throw their babies under your tank? Yeah, let no alone can... strap explosives to them and throw them under your tank. Well, yeah, and what would bring someone to do such a thing? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. What, the, what's going on in, in that? What's going on? That's crazy. I mean, that's insanity, and and we're seeing it. Moments of awareness. <laughs> kind of a downer tonight. Yeah, geez. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I mean, I think it's true. And I think it needs to be addressed at some point. Maybe not on our little show, but... Yep. I don't know. Well, you're seeing more movies and stuff coming out now that are talking about what's going on and kind of... Well, it just brings it up for me because it's the same It's the same mentality. You go in and you think, you know, I'm going to go there and I'm going to be a war hero and I'm going to come back. And it's like you go there and you do things you never thought you would ever, 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 ever be called upon to do in your life. And you come back and people are like, well, another war action? You know, big deal. And then they're like, well, we shouldn't even have been there. And then, well, you know, that kind of demeans your service and belittles it. Right. And the cop thing brought it up because it's like if we don't acknowledge the good ones, then yeah. what's their incentive to keep keep on keeping on and keep the faith and do the right thing? Right. You know. Yeah. If there are only a few that get into it for good reasons, then we really need to. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hey, how you doing? You're live. How's it going? Good. How you doing tonight? Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I just saw this number. I didn't really know uh, what you called that. <laughs> first time, first time well, you saw it and, <laughs> and called the show. Is anything on your mind? You know, just having a good time. Wanted to see uh, how you guys were doing. Good. We're doing great. How you how's doing tonight? How's our audio? Yeah, how's the audio tonight? Hey, we're having a good break. We're just chilling, you know, drinking some beers. Cool. Cool. Uh, well, let me go now. Oh, all right. Oh, well, hey, thanks call, for calling. Call us back if you have something to say. Uh, nope, just uh, <laughs> rock and roll. I'm going right. to go uh, be cool. Right. Awesome. Cool. All right, have a great night. That was our like three weeks ago, right? Be cool. Yeah. Yeah, tonight's <laughs> be passionate. <laughs> well, they'll have a good night, I hope. Right. I'm going to give them some visuals to look at. <laughs> Woo! Maybe on a trampoline. That yeah. trampoline is now defunct after being under about 
what, 400 or 1,000 pounds of snow. Oh my God, you can see a thing. I don't know how much. <laughs> well, you couldn't until you said that. Oh, well, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I had to make a point of it. <laughs> Stop singing. Stop singing again. Please. Stop, Stop singing. singing. Well, let's have a non philosophical, non religious, non political debate about. <laughs> Things that are fun at 11.30 at night. Right. Besides moments of awareness and peace in the dudes. Which may be mildly entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Under the right influence. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> what? Spike Ferris didn't give yep. you 30 seconds of comedy for stoners. We give you a whole hour. Whole hour. Comedy for stoners. <laughs> we don't condone drug we, use. Exactly. <laughs> but if you are way. high, <laughs> this is the show you want to watch, man. <laughs> Thank you, Spike Ferris, and we agree. Yeah, did we, I wonder if that's copyrighted or trademarked in any way, if we're going to get well, like a Well, call. we aren't doing like literally comedy for, you know. We'll be like, yeah, sue us, man. <laughs> yeah, hey, you man. You can take what we don't have, and then you can make us famous. We'll put this on YouTube, you know, and he'll have to, he'll, people will be like, hey, man. <laughs> Yeah, I know those guys. Right. I remember them. They They're talking about me, man. A bunch of cats. They said my name, Spike Ferrison. Spike, dude, we watch Which your we show. Need, what you need to do is you need <laughs> to put it. You need to put it in the keywords or the tags or whatever. Yeah. Hello, you're there. You're you're live. Hey, how's it going? Good, man. What's Pretty up? Good. Not much. I was just flipping through the channels and <laughs> cool. I saw this like naked kid running around. What's that what? all about? What do you mean, man? <laughs> oh, it, it says be passionate, and then like they just like. <laughs> can't well, I can't run around with any clothes bad, on. Doesn't it? Yeah, that's probably not the right message. Then. <laughs> we didn't no, think I, I was about just confused. That, but seriously, like, <laughs> what's going what, on, man? What do you people all about? What's the show all about? Uh, <laughs> uh, <coughs> we just kind of hang out. Where is the peace of the dudes? And we talk to people in Boise on Sunday nights for an hour. Yeah, we're just gonna hang out. Boise in the surrounding area. And we show home videos, and it just so happened that the B statement that we chose tonight was be passionate, and it just so happened that he was a year and a half old jumping on the trampoline in the video. So. Nice. <laughs> it didn't. It, <laughs> there he's got clothes on again. I like your ficus in the background. Is it all here? Oh, yeah. yeah nice. Or like, like silk ficus. That's cool, huh? Yeah. You could have this on your show. You can come down. I could have a show. Yeah, you could have a show. You can come down here to cable access. And I assume you have to be like 13 or have some kind of parental consent if you're under 18, but you're probably 18, right? Yeah. I'm I'm 18. Anyway, so you yeah, you can about, come down to cable access and get a show. What do you think about the war? Uh, the war in Iraq? Yes. Uh, I think it sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty lame, right? <laughs> I mean, I really do. I, uh, I mean, I got a lot of buddies that you know went over and are there yeah, probably. A Marine. I was a yeah, Marine, I so. know some people over there. Yeah, I just. Yeah, uh, you do. You got buddies over there too. Yeah. Yeah. Have they kind of have they been back and forth a few times and? Uh, yeah, it sucks saying goodbye like six times, you know. Right, and then six uh, times. Six times? No kidding. Yeah, they come back and then they leave again, you know. Yeah, they're Jeez, doing well. Louise. I think they're doing like six months and one year pumps now, uh, right? Yeah, six months to fifteen months. Word. I don't know. <laughs> what is that? Uh, they're standing too close to their television. You're standing too close to your television. <laughs> You're standing too... Oh, they hung up. Oh, okay. Well, we'll talk to you again sometime. Yeah, thanks for calling, man. I think war generally sucks, but it's usually good for the economy. Right. Which is generally why wars are started, so... Yeah. Either to annex land and property, or... Money and power and religion. Economy. Money, power, religion. Create markets for ammunition and weapons. But see, I think we were talking earlier because we were watching Future Weapons. Right. And we were talking earlier about how, you know, 
it's not like we have to have war to have an excuse to have these weapons. We could just have the weapons and like we could just blow stuff up for fun. Right, instead of having to kill people and you know, conquer, people you know. People could do it for sport, like just, yeah, just like blow right. gigantic targets just for fun so you could get the closest in their F-14. Well, you know? if, well, if they can make all these autonomous vehicles and whatnot, why can't they, you know, why can't they have them, you know, that you sign up for a club so it co covers the cost of blowing the thing up. <laughs> Right. You know, or whatever, and you know, and you go out, and your your sport is to whatever, hunt down whatever it is. You know, pretty right. soon you'll have robots or whatever that you can hunt and track. I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, we'll see, I guess. Look at that <laughs> yellow jacket nest. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. Well, it's wasp nest. I guess paper wasp, European paper wasp, or something. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't know where the yellow jackets nest. We usually have them around, but I don't I can't I don't usually find where they're nesting, so. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I think this sage must be coming up cuz I've got more asthma this week, but Yeah, I've noticed. Yeah. Oh yeah, isn't it nice to find out that uh the the uh drugs that they prescribed me and you for asthma? <laughs> <laughs> oh right, causes depression and suicidal thinking. <laughs> nice. But we couldn't take it because it didn't work and made us feel bad and worse. No, it kind of sucked. <laughs> it's kind of weird how most of those things do that to us. Right. Yeah. Sometimes you just, you know, you, you just, just gotta feel not. It. You can yeah. just tell when you you take it and you're like, oh, this is not good. My body's telling me, man, I just not breathe calmly, man. Just focus. You know. That's right. Right. Nice. Huh? <laughs> It's cool. It was building its nest there, I think. Here, we'll uh, jam to the wasps. All right. What were you talking about? You want to watch guys? You want to watch guys? Yay! You think that's getting picked up on the thing? The... Oh, I, I was wondering what that was. Oh, you didn't know? <laughs> I kept, I'm like, I hear some other sound. Are we picking up radio stations again? No, no. Oh no, my no. God, flashback. That went, that went away with MCN6. Right. Let's see. What was I passionate about this week, I wonder? Oh yeah, the wasp is being passionate about building its lair. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think. I, I guess that would be a drone, right? So, like a neutered male. Uh, oh, yeah. A eunuch male, yeah. Well, what are, didn't we... Uh, I thought we had some, um, like what we were talking about, some of the, oh, cyber, cyber humans for exploring space. Oh yeah, space. there are some things that we just don't want to give away. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the ha that's the happy ending. Yeah, I gotta <coughs> tune in to other shows. Excuse me. The underlying, you know. Huh? What? What? And then, um, yeah, we were talking about cybernetic organisms being the best thing to send to space. Right. Because... The blending, and now they're talking about it more. And of course that just comes up on Live Science the day after we talk about it, you know. Right. Whatever. We got a lot of thimbleberry out there, and I guess that's maple bear or something, I don't know. Somebody will tell me sometime. <laughs> what? Um, oh, yeah, that's into us. <laughs> what? I'm just into us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's kind of laughing at me and you and us. Yeah, that's maple and birch that we were, that we were looking at, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer says I don't get a lot of good shots of his face, so. Oh yeah? I think well, you get a lot of That them. was a good one, so. <laughs> How much is this coming through, do you think? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. I think <laughs> all my other, the other noise I'm making is. Well, Randy Newman can sue us too. <laughs> and the people from Pixar. <laughs> Wow. You got your pants up, bud. What? Oh. Okay. What? Hey, what? Oh. He doesn't like to have his the bottom of his pants up around his knees usually, and he's got them pushed up right now. Freaky, man. He's getting ready for summer, man. That's true. 
We're cruising. You're watching the phone, right? Yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that too. Uh, I don't see anything blinking. Oh, see now. Now they're going to say, oh, look, it says be passionate. And there's some chick laying on a couch. I didn't think they could show that on cable access. Oh, baby. Look at some trees blowing in the wind, man. There's you want a sandwich? Nature yeah, passion. Huh? Look at that. Here, babe. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Yummy. That's a good sandwich, too. <laughs> oh. Uh, what's that? Who's there? Hey, how you doing tonight? Good. What <laughs> is this about? Uh, trees, man. Let's make something up, man. <laughs> trees. It's about trees? Yeah, it's sure, about yeah. trees tonight. How's that? But what's it really about? Oh, uh, whatever. Just us hanging out. <laughs> just you guys people. hanging? Hanging talking out. Talking to people about whatever you want to talk about. Um, who's Peace and the Dudes? Okay, uh... I'm Peace. This is Peace. Hold on, wait, wait. You're Peace over at the couch? That's I'm Peace. peace. And they're the dudes. Okay. The little one and the big one. And That's I big am. Dudes. Oh, wait, where's the button? Does your kid have dreadlocks? Yeah, he does. Yeah. <laughs> Is that healthy? What's that? Oh, sure. Yeah. Is yeah. that healthy? Sure. Oh, totally. Yeah. We've both had dreadlocks, so. We are they fake or are they real? No, no they're, they're totally real. real. They're totally real. Here, totally come here, real. bud. Come here. Hey, wow. Nummy. Lettuce? Come here. <laughs> come here. Do they look fake? What? Is your kid's name really Dude? It's Dude yeah. Junior, yeah. <laughs> dude Junior. What's yep. the name? His dad's name is Dude Junior. That, that, that's his whole name? He doesn't know his last name? Real legal name. Oh, yeah, Jaway is our last name. Yahweh? Jaway. Jaway. Yeah. J A W. Yahweh. Yahweh? Pretty close. Yeah, Jaw. It's just Jaway is spelled with a J. Yeah. So, where do you guys stand on legalizing marijuana? All for it. I think they should. <laughs> <laughs> where are you stand where on it? Where do you stand? Where, where do I stand? Yeah, what do you think? I'm I'm not standing. I'm flying. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, that's good. <laughs> so, so, do you think they should legalize it? There he is. Uh, I think. All right, I there think you, you go. Think so yeah. <laughs> yeah sounds What's like. What's that? I said I think you think so yeah. Trees. <laughs> so that be passionate about sense. that. What? What? Give us all the reasons that they should. Yeah. That they should? Yeah. 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 It's fucking badass. <laughs> well, is yeah. that going to convince a congressman? <laughs> yeah, right. You want me to convince a congressman? I don't think anybody's going to convince them to legalize it. I just don't think it's going to happen. If you think about how Why many not? congressmen have used it and probably right. still do use it. Right, right. So, I mean, they've got to come up with an excuse at some point. That's why we've got to give them all the good reasons that we can. I'm, I'm pretty sure the only reason why is because they can't tax it. The selling of it. Well, they do tax Why it. not? Just, they they know, can do it. The tobacco. The tax stamps, you no, it's because it's, so, it's so easy to make. You can't just make tobacco and sell it. Like, you have to have fields. It takes a lot of work to process it. Well, that's true. That's true. Tobacco yeah. is a lot more labor intensive, a lot more herbicides, a lot more pesticides, so it doesn't support all the same industries. But, you know, they could hybridize strains of it that would be weak and vulnerable to pests, I'm sure. Yeah. So then they could use all the same crap on it that they want to, but then everybody could grow their own if they wanted to, too. You know, because you figure a lot of people are not going to want to deal with you know, cultivation and all that junk. They're just going to want to go back, you know, go to a local convenience store and buy it like a pack of smokes, right? Right. Which would be, you know... The California, you can get your uh, prescription drugs through a machine now. Your yeah, if you have a license to get it. If you have a prescription, yeah. Right, right. Which? But, you know, <laughs> it's a start, right? Idaho's a lot of times where they're just a little bit behind, I think, on some of that stuff. But who? Idaho. But did, a little more. Did you guys go to college? Yeah. Where'd you go to college at? Uh, Minnesota, and then I went to BSU for a little bit. Oh, cool. What's your, what's your degree in? Uh, I don't have a degree yet. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, business aviation was what I studied. Business aviation. Yeah, a professional pilot That's program. Quite the combo. Yeah, well, you know, if I, uh, it was either I could fly or if I couldn't fly, I could work as a, some corporate guy at an airline or something, you know? Yeah, right? so you're gonna be, you want to be a corporate guy and you want to legalize marijuana? Yeah, more power to it. Don't, don't those kind of conflict with each other? 
No, I think uh, I think you can uh, find big business in, in not only marijuana but uh, hemp production. I mean, it's you look at the vast amounts of uses, other than of course you know people's recreational use of it. I mean, it's there's there's, there's, there's huge industries, you know that. Uh, Did they just hang up? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Oh, well, man. We didn't want to actually talk about it, man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm getting on my soapbox again and talking. Our buzz. We forget, you know. Yeah, we killed your buzz. Here. You know, we're old look at the trees, and man. Responsible. Just look at the trees. <laughs> <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> yeah, shut up, dude, man. Just shut up. Yeah, we think you should legalize it. Don't explain why. We don't care. We just want it legal. Right? <laughs> Well, <laughs> come on, man. I just. I think there's just. Yeah. I think there's a lot of legitimate reasons that aren't related to just. Oh, I just want to get no, wasted. You the know. The whole thing for for me, the whole thing is all about the fact that when you regulate, when you criminalize individual behaviors. Exactly. You make it. You open the door to criminalizing pretty much anything, just because an administration disagrees with a given population's behaviors and choices, right? So if you can criminalize this, then you can criminalize that, and you can criminalize that, and criminalize the other thing. Then pretty much everything's criminal, in some way, shape, or form. Everybody is a criminal in some way because there is some law that everybody gets to and chooses to break at some point when enough laws have been made, and that's when. If that surveillance goes too far and we don't take control of it first, they're watching us. Power to the people, get, man. Huh? <laughs> Power to the people, you know. Well, yeah, but what I'm saying is whenever they get, if, if they make a law, if they make enough laws so that everybody's a criminal. Right. If they're the ones that have all the surveillance capabilities, then they're the ones who can say, well, look, that person pissed us off. This is how they're a criminal. We have proof. We have these records. Right. We need to have that in our hands, too. Yeah, so the people, the same people that are enforcing these laws, they're under the same scrutiny and, and accountability as everyone else is. That's right. It, you, you, know? shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to enforce the law if you're not going to live by it. Yeah, if you, exactly, you know. That's, um, that's all I have to say. Be held accountable. I think, you know, that's fair. If you're going <laughs> to, you know, if... Exactly. And if you can tell me that you live by every law out there, that's awesome. I, yep. I believe that there probably are people who do, but then I right. think that you need to go back and look on the books to make sure you're not breaking any of those archaic laws that yeah, are still you know, sitting there. Walking that you on the wrong side that. of the street on Sunday. <laughs> you know, it's surprising. Hello, you're live. Hey, what's up? Uh, oh, sorry, what was that? Hey, what's up? Oh, <laughs> Matt? <laughs> <laughs> I just had a question. Okay, go ahead. What do you guys think about smoking pot when you're pregnant? About smoking pot when you're pregnant? Yeah. Well, well peace. Do you know more? Uh, I thought you knew recent statistics on some of that, or more research. Well, done. obviously it's illegal. Right. It's illegal, and when you're pregnant or when you're a parent, you have to think about that first, first and foremost, because you know, obviously, if you make yourself a criminal, then you know you open yourself to all kinds of consequences, right? Mm -hmm. Beyond that, I have to say that my that research that's been done, which is very minimal, so it's very hard to say anything definitively, and I can't say that anybody knows anything. But the research that's been done has been done mostly in Jamaica, because in Jamaica there's a large pot smoking population, and they're not there's no issue with it. And Jamaican babies of mothers who smoke pot tend to be healthier and more robust and of mothers who breastfeed while they're smoking pot tend to be healthier and more robust. But again, studies haven't been done and you know, do you take the risk? Mm -hmm. Well, do you think So that obviously, I am not saying I advocated in any way and I'm not saying that I all of that. So yeah. anyway, do you think I'm they're more prone to behavioral problems? I'm so sorry. Do you think they're Oh, here, I'll try. Do I what? Think they're more prone to behavioral problems. Oh. Well, I would have no way of knowing that, but there doesn't seem to be indi any indication of it. But then again, you know, there's a new study came out recently that said um, babies of mothers who quit smoking nicotine cigarettes during pregnancy are happier babies overall. Mm -hmm. So that may be, you know, it may be that there are behavior problems. I really don't know. I, w I wouldn't have any way of 
uh, obviously more research needs to be done. That's and, just it. Uh, when the research gets done, then we'll know more. But until they're willing to do it, we have no way of knowing. And I don't yeah. think really that's. Yeah, and we'll. I, I bet you we'll probably see more of that kind of thing in in you know some. Starting to. You know, starting to. Canada, Europe. Can I ask Europe. what your opinions are? Are you willing to share? Oh, um, I'm against it. I used to smoke pot, but I'm pregnant now, so I stopped. Okay, <laughs> hold okay, on. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I couldn't hear that over this, but Go ahead. <laughs> I've turned it down a little bit. Can you say it again? Oh, um, I used to smoke pot a little bit, but uh -huh. now I'm pregnant, so I don't. Yeah. And I don't plan on doing it anymore because of my baby. So, But I know a lot of people who do, and I just I don't necessarily agree with it because I don't think it's beneficial in any way. Yeah. But I was just wondering your view. That's probably smart. <laughs> I, I mean, I would agree with that. <laughs> you know? Okay, well, thank you. Cool. Great, yeah, thank no problem. You. Thanks for calling. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> maybe there are later. more opinions out there. I'm sure right. we hear from people who... Right. Maybe maybe somebody has studies to refute mine. That would probably be a good thing right. to have come through, right? Yeah, but so far, all the research that used to be considered, you know, that this is bad and that's bad has been proven well, wrong. This is, yeah, this <laughs> is the problem with it is that, you know, um, when you look for information... When you when what you find is all positive, you begin to think, well, you know, maybe everything I've been told is a lie. Right. You know, if what you've been told is all negative and wrong and untruth. Exactly. So that's where I think the research needs to be done so that they can honestly say, look, this is there's proof here that this is damaging in this way and this is damaging in this way and this is damaging in this way and you shouldn't do it. They've done it for everything else. Some of that doesn't come out the way that they expect it to, but. <laughs> right. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, well. You hope, we hope. Yeah. Evolution of mankind and humankind, humankind. I should say. Humankind. <laughs> to be correct, politically. <laughs> it's true, though. Yeah. But I have to say, after this drug filled show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, here, wait. Public we service just announcement. Need to say, one more time for the record, we do not condone or advise using drugs in any way, shape, or form. Illegal drugs that are not prescribed by your physician. Yeah, which, I mean, that's a whole other topic that most <laughs> widely abused drugs prescription drug are prescription. Right. Yeah, I mean, United and causing severe problems. <clears throat> but hey, hey, come on, I don't want to be a I downer see. either. Well, maybe Here. we should talk about doctors next week. Doctors, all right. <laughs> yeah, doctors, let's lawyers. Yeah, we, yeah, no kidding. Politicians. Okay, uh, now, let's not friends, go there again our, either. Our friends uh, from Friday night's show um, smells like public access. I just we've got about five minutes left right. today, but uh, Friday night's show that's on 11:30 to midnight. Um, they, they had a guy come on and have his balls hanging out the whole show. And I bet there are a lot of people out there that were less offended by that than they are by this tonight. So. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we'll see, huh? How dare they say what they say. I didn't say anything. I just quoted some studies that were all I could find on the topic. Right. But I think it's always wise to consider first, you know, what's the risk that I put myself in is right. engage in certain behaviors under the law. Right. Have milk? Yep. 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 Have milk. Yeah, have five milk. minutes. Still got five minutes. Yeah. yeah. Well, we can listen to music for five minutes. It's a well, nice mellow ending to our Sunday night. Just walking down the road March in the mountains. 2008. Well, what if someone calls? Well, if someone calls, then I guess we could talk to them. But Unless I just get too into what I'm doing. No. Pretty quick. We got five minutes. Okay. That. It's the locket. That. It's the locket. It's the next part of the locket. It's a pendant on the necklace and it's a locket pendant. Oh. Oh, here goes my, my microphone. Gada. 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 What? 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 For an enemy of the Galactic Alliance. <laughs> what? What? No, what? <laughs> oh, did I reveal our alien status again? Nope. <coughs>
Because I don't have a green card because they don't issue those to aliens. What are you talking about, man? My skin is still a little loose there. <laughs> 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 I got my Edgar suit on all the way. Edgar suit. She's got her Edgar suit. Her, her Elma suit on. I think they can't understand us half the time just because I'm just fucking Because we make a lot of noise, man. I'm just laughing too much. What are you laughing about, man? Nothing at all, man. <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm just, just making noise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you laughing at, man? <laughs> oh, look at what you found. Oh, good stuff. I'm surprised Where I stuck a that? finger in my nose. Oh, wait. She's going to drink some, too. Oh. Oh, 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 good stuff, man. Oh, oh, oh. Drink it, drink it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Suck it down. Oh. oh. <laughs> Looks like that's some 80 proof or something. It's just water. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> I hope it's just water. <laughs> oh, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, good stuff, man. <sighs> man. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see you again, Boise, Idaho. Yeah, we'll thanks for watch watching. This till we're done. Have a good night. Out. He's in the dudes out. Yeah. Of instrumental this time. <laughs> what? <laughs> Getting a good yeah. dose of instrumental and some trees. Good. I'm having fun tonight. Yeah, me too. It's a good oh, night. yummy. That's good. You know, I want to see Senator Craig's footprints, foot tappings myself, and so I can determine if he was trying to get gay sex. Right. That's what I want. Oh yeah, <laughs> I still want Maria Shriver to run for president. Maria Shriver for president! 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 I know that's the first dude, yeah! Maria Shriver for <laughs> <laughs> What? What? Oh, oh, shit. Go! Maria Shriver for president! Yeah, Maria Shriver for president! Well, 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 well. Sorry, man. It was, uh, that was, you know, space. You said, oh shit. I did? Oh shit. <laughs> Whoops, Are I we did still again. The, now they're going to get calls about us finally. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, yeah, about, about time. Us, about time. We're still live. Oh, you want. Oh, here. Okay. No, I'm just checking my profile. Oh, I thought you were going to drop trow or Excuse something. Me? Yeah. Hey, we're off yeah, the air now. I thought I was going to drop trow. <laughs> 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 <laughs>